Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today, well actually it was yesterday, but a new patch dropped for Red Dead Redemption 2. And for us Red Dead modders, this means that Scriptook is now dead. So if you're trying to run Red Dead Redemption 2 with Scriptook installed and you're getting an error, that is why you're going to need to wait for a new version of Scriptook to come out. And that usually takes a couple of days. Now there's a reason why I can still play Red Dead with my mods, and it's because I backed up my files. This is something I recommend everybody to do if you're modding a Rockstar game. And you can do that simply by going to your Red Dead Redemption 2 files, and then copy these two. Play Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2.exe. You want to copy those and then make a new folder, put them inside the new folder and leave them there. These are your old launcher files. Now, if the game updates automatically, what you can do is just paste these old files back in Soldier folder and it will be as if you never updated the game. Your, your mods will still work. You can launch the game with the older version of Script Extender and it'll be all good. And then you can still play the game whilst you're waiting for an update. Sadly, I didn't do that with GTA 5. I completely forgot. I have backups upon backups of my Red Dead Redemption 2 mod, uh, uh, files, but I forgot to back up. GTA 5. So I've got to wait for the new version of Script Hook, sadly. See, there you go. My Script Hook is out of date. If I was going to go back up my files, of which I'm going to do when the new version of Script Hook does come out, same as Red Dead Redemption, just go in and copy. I think it's these three of GTA 5. Just copy those, put them in a folder, keep them safe, and then if the game updates, you can just put them back in. But yeah, so um, I just wanted to make this quick update video on why your game might be dead. And, um, yeah, uh, if you do have any issues with modding Red Dead Redemption 2, um, a better way to get help from me is to join my Discord server. I do try to reply to all of the comments, but it's a little difficult, uh, especially lately. I've been getting a lot of comments on some of my videos, and it's hard to keep up. So, there'll be a link to my Discord server down below if you need any help, or if you just want to join the server. Anyways... Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.